Hi, myself Adar Din Ahmed and I am from group number 389. Now I'll demonstrate how to put on uh, sterile globes. First of all, you need to cut the packet. So over here it's written left and right. So <clears throat> first of all for the left hand just take the left uh, globes by dominant hand don't touch the outer surface that is the sterile part of the globes. So you need to find the finger points, the exact finger point. Do not touch the outer surface that is the sterile part of the globes. And then take the other hand globes by giving your finger inside the globes, not inward part inside part of the globes. Do not touch the sterile part of the globes with free hand. So now I just put it on the globes. So fit your globes to your hand. All set. Uh, now I will prepare the IB first of all. So first of all, IB injection. I'll cut it, and I'm using this as a container. And now I am using this as a medicine, and I will take medicine from this. And now you, you must be very careful for the bubble inside the injection or inside the gauze or in, inside the syringe because this bubble if it's the insert in our vein or in our artery or in our blood system it may cause embolism so embolism will lead to much problem so much pathological problem or issue in our body so you must be careful so that there will be no uh, gas bubble inside the shirins so all set so my injection is free of gas bubble or my shirins is free of gas bubble so i prepared the injection or the shirins now i will disinfect the area or the place where i will put the injection So I made previously the cotton wool. So dip the cotton wool into spirit or any disinfectant. And as I made this, 
I made this towel by wrapping as a uh, as a hand model. So I will disinfect the area. Suppose I will put injection over here in the popliteal vein. So not sorry uh, in the cubital vein, not popliteal. So I will disinfect the area by. very widely first of all in horizontal movement from up down and then in vertical movement and then circularly circularly just elaborate the area now it's fine now i disinfected the area now i will apply tourniquet to find out the vein and ask the patient to repeatedly compress his and to and fro so the best easy method of applying the tourniquet is to just tie the hand like this so that untying will be very easy I tied the hand like this and I'll ask the patient to compress and I'll find the vein easily. Now as we know intravenous injection or IV is given by 30 to 40 degree. So I will put the injection into the vein and be careful so that the needle the needle part of the injection will be vertical not so, sorry not vertical like in the upward side so that you can easily penetrate the vein so i just penetrate it and i will check the if it the injection if the gauze is inserted into the vein or not by pulling pulling up the syringe if there is blood coming from the vein that means the injection is in proper position so don't leave the syringe directly into the vein hold it with one hand and i will free the tourniquet by right hand so that the blood can circulate and now i am giving it slowly very slowly not so fast it's done free your hand put your left hand into the part of the syringe or in the in the part of the injection and pull the injection easily keep the injection in the dustbin put a whole cotton ball and then press it down and ask the patient to hold his hand like this so that's it it's all about IV thank you